here we go, round one of what is one of the bigger fights we can make in any division. It'll be contested at lightweight, of course, Nate Diaz versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. What have you said to Khabib in advance of this one in terms of how he approaches the length and the striking game of Nate Diaz? Just to be patient. Stay close. Don't buy into the game that Nate Diaz is going to play with him. He has to stay the course, get on the takedowns, wrestle and wear on Diaz if he's going to get his hand raised. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Nice job working hard. All right, the fighters are fighting out of the clinch here, and now we go to the ground. Beautiful trip there to get the takedown. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Oh, John. One guy's always paying attention. The other guy's going to take a point. Take a point like they did to your boy, Johnny, and you lose the All-Valley Championship for disrespecting a guy like that. That's me. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright, and he switches his stance yet again. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Nice straight punch. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your job? Oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Shot of double leg. Oh! Oh! All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. Oh, there he is. Gets up again here, but hurting. You can't take many of those, you better check. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the 50 seconds. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents. And this looks like the start of that. Another takedown land. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my last round? Absolutely rest? not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. Safe. Another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high punch. Oh! He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every... Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 